I have two Canon R6 cameras here. This one has the firmware update 1.5, which is supposed to improve face detection for bicyclists with helmets and goggles. This camera does not have the firmware update. And I'm going to take pictures of a couple bikers going by me and see if this is better than that. One thing I'm going to change from how I normally shoot is I'm going to just shoot in program mode and use auto everything. So both cameras are in face detection. Both cameras are in servo. Both cameras are in high speed. Put both cameras in evaluative metering. Put both cameras in auto white balance. Picture style S, whatever that is. Standard. Auto light optimizer is in the third option, which is standard, full frame, full frame. I have both set to autofocus on people with eye detection enabled. Another option I had disabled was continuous autofocus. I have it in servo autofocus, which is supposed to be continuous, and I changed this to be continuous autofocus. Not sure what that does, but now both are enabled on both cameras. I'm going to change the initial focusing point to be a little bit higher. Wow, that one's way off. I'm going to move that up there. Hopefully this will work well, and hopefully this will work less well, because the older firmware has not worked all that great for me. Okay, this is interesting. Let's see on the guy on the left. It didn't switch to her and it didn't switch to her. So I could show you the actual picture files, but I think it's better to look at the viewfinder and see where the focus dot is and what the camera focused on. So that's what we're going to do right now. This is the older firmware. Okay, here's the first picture and it focused on the first person's helmet. The second picture did two and then third, fourth, fifth. They're all focusing on the sec second person in line, which is fine. So all these pictures of the second person in line, still second person in line. And still second person in line, hasn't really switched. Now here's a single rider and it's focusing right on her gog goggles. Now left shoulder, upper helmet, left shoulder, right side of helmet, right side of face, right side, right side, perfect off the shoulder. Now here we got another rider coming at us and it's focusing all over the place, dead center. So she should be well in focus. Lots of dots, I'm not sure why. So as she leaves the frame, will it focus on the guy behind? It did. I apparently took my finger off the shutter, which I think is probably the key to getting the next person in line in focus, is you have to release the shutter. Whoops, that one focused off his back of him. So that actually did better than I thought it would based on my experience in the woods with this camera. So now let's take a look at the firmware version 1.5 and see if it does any better. Here's the first picture, second picture. It seems to be doing the area and not the face, still the area. Now here's another picture and we got the helmet, the face missed it. We got the helmet. Helmet, face, face, helmet, sort of the face, arm. Jeez, this is not doing that well. And then we have the helmet again, helmet again. Now we got the guy on the left's face, face, face. The guy on the left is getting the guy on the left multiple times. And getting kind of to the right of him. Now here we're getting the first guy, whereas with the older software we got the second guy. Now it kind of almost went off, it went off, 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 and uh-oh, it's uh, 
found that person, but not the face. And now it's finding the house and not the face. So it seems like version 1.5 is not doing as well, but who knows. Yikes. So that was less than impressive. At the next race that I go to and take pictures at, uh, like this one, I'm going to try face detection, but if it doesn't work, I'm going back to single point autofocus. Thanks for watching.